Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Gail. Welcome, everyone, to Women Over 70 Aging Reimagined, our award-winning weekly podcast. Please visit womenover70.com and join Aging Reimagined Circle, our sustaining membership fund, so we may continue to inspire women to age with curiosity, courage, and creativity. Aging Reimagined Circle also hosts probing discussions each month. So visit our upcoming events at womenover70.com and join today. And again, welcome to our Aging um, Advocate Series on, um, I'm sorry, Advocates for Women Aging is what I'm trying to say. So welcome. And we're delighted to talk with the co-founders of Boom Home Medical. Now, known as the Dynamic Duo, they are radically reinventing the home medical equipment industry with attractive products that, and, that allow women to care for themselves with dignity. So the team is Dr. Valerie Uline, public Hi. health and preventive medicine physician, and Bertie Livson Pompan, a literary agent turned healthcare leader. In 2012, they formed Clear Health Advisors to help people find the right specialist and treatment options. And through this work, they saw firsthand how the home medical equipment industry is outdated, inconvenient, and downright unattractive. So consider peeing, every mature woman's middle of the night activity. The first product of their new company, Boom Health Medical, is Luna, a bedside urinal with a feminine design that fits the female anatomy. It's the most elegant solution to relief anytime and anywhere. So welcome Valerie and Bertie to Women Over 70. We're delighted to have you here. And let's begin by having you just share the backstories of how the two of you came together and how you formed a business partnership. Terrific. This is, this is usually where Bertie launches in. So okay, I'll, Bertie. I'll let her kick it off. Well, it's funny that you referred to us as the dynamic duo. I was wondering who's Batman and who's Robin. <laughs> and I think, and I think like in most successful relationships, sometimes she's Batman and I'm Robin, and sometimes I'm Batman and she's Robin. But um, in 2012, I had personally undergone some si a significant health issue and I was horribly misdiagnosed, something I didn't believe could happen, especially living in a big city like I do and getting to the best, doc, you know, what I thought was the best doctor. Um, and then actually that was in 2004, but leading up to our partnership, my, both my parents and my brother uh, had, were misdiagnosed and were mm -hmm. subject to just really subpar care. So in a five-year period, I had a brain tumor and I lost both my parents and my brother. And I realized that the people who truly needed agents, now we call them advocates, uh, were patients and not necessarily my Academy Award winning writers and directors. So I decided to create a concept, a, an agency, if you will, that whose clients were actually patients. At that same time, Dr. Val uh, had been writing for the LA Times. She had her own column in the health section. The health section was being disbanded and she was sort of figuring out her next steps. So it was actually my sister-in-law, this is Val, who introduced or you know suggested to me that I talk to Bertie. My brother and Bertie's husband had been dear friends since high school. And I'd heard of Bertie for about 25 years, but never actually met her. So um, I reached out and we got together and we decided to launch Clear Health Advisors, the health advocacy slash navigation company um, that we've been alluding to. Um, we had been doing that for about 12 years when um, we began to recognize because of the clients that we were serving, that the um, home healthcare products that were available to them, either when they were, as they were getting older and needed them, or as they were being released from the hospital after surgery, um, were really outmoded, ugly, uh, functioned poorly, 
And we had the idea to kind of reimagine that whole category of goods, which was the genesis of Boom Home Medical. Right. Thank you for sharing all of that. Um, so you, you've said that their mission is to empower women to care for themselves with dignity. And, and I'm going to ask the obvious question. Why does this matter? Wow. That because, first of all, I, there have been many scientific studies that show that good relationships directly correlate to longer, healthier lives. And in order to have good relationships, you need to feel good about yourself and want to leave the house and communicate with friends and, you know, pick your play pickleball, play mahjong, do the things that bring you joy. And if you don't feel good about yourself, then you stay home and you're depressed and we know where that leads. And so our first product is designed for women, but we are reimagining durable home medical products for both men and women, not just women. We do believe that everybody, regardless of their age, deserves to care for their basic human needs with dignity, because it is important to how you feel about yourself and how you feel about yourself directly results in positive relationships and longevity. Well said. Do you want to add anything, Val, Dr. Val? Um, I think Bertie, Bertie kind of covered that pretty well, but again, I would just emphasize that um, ultimately, Boom Home Medical, although our first product is designed specifically for female anatomy, we're coming out uh, with additional products for, for men. Um, and, and while the aging population is something, you know, is a real focus of ours, um, these products are actually, you know, needed by many younger people too whether they've had surgery or recovering from an injury or are disabled uh, because of some, you know, mm -hmm. some health issue that they suffer from. So um, we want, we want everybody to be able to care for their needs without embarrassment because it's complete, we believe it's completely unnecessary. And, and we're shocked that, um, that these products haven't changed sooner. It's, when every, it seems that every category of consumer goods from phones to cars, to thermostats, to exercise equipment is now beautifully designed um, and, and highly you know, technologically sophisticated. But this one you know, durable home medical has not had mm -hmm. a facelift, we believe, since it was originally conceived of, it seems. So Dr. Val, we can see on your, uh, behind you that you have some products. We do. So tell us, uh, is this the Luma, Luna? Luna. This is the Luna. So you see it's roughly the size of a vase. Here, I'm gonna grab my very large water bottle so you can see it in comparison to a water bottle. Um, it's easy to hold. And it has a lid, which makes it spill proof and smell proof. And then it has this beautiful, soft silicone funnel so that when you hold it up to your private parts, uh, it's soft. And this silicone funnel, I think it's really important to talk about why our our product, our Luna, is truly a game changer in the category because, because of the silicone funnel and the beautiful design, when you actually use it, your urine hits the funnel first, which is soft, as opposed to you know dripping on hard plastic. So it's quiet. So if you have a bed partner, it doesn't wake your partner. Trust me. I've used all of them because we did a lot of research before we designed the Luna. So it's quiet and that is hugely important. And because of the wide stable base, it sits on your nightstand without you know, being worried it's gonna tip over when it's full. 
And then I never even use the lid, but if you want to use the lid, then it's definitely spill proof and smell proof. And because it doesn't look clinical, it doesn't look like the blue plastic milk jug ones that hang on the side of the hospital bed. If you're, you know, you have a visitor come to the house and it's sitting on the nightstand, they don't know what it is. One of our creative ads has flowers coming out of it. And it says it's for pee, not flowers. <laughs> and so not, not just dignity, uh, which is important, but also destigmatizing something we all do. And I'm not yet 70. I'm in my fifties, but I use it every night because I wake up multiple times to go to the bathroom. Once you walk to the bathroom, then you're fully awake. You don't wanna turn on a light if you do have a bed partner, and then you are, you're at risk of falling. And then you get back into bed and you're lying there for 20 minutes thinking about all the things that didn't get done that day. So if you, you pee, urinate, bedside, you get right back to sleep. <laughs> you know very empowering I'm, as we're talking you know i i'm here in um, assisted living with my mother who's quite el elderly but she's you know has a catheter and it's just sort of dragging it along in a bucket and uh, i'm thinking there's got to be a better way to do this have you is that on your list of things to tackle it is further, something like a, a cath an actual catheter device, it's further down our list um, in, in part because it gets a little more, as uh, it, it gets more complicated because it requires, it's in, invasive and it re mm -hmm. would require FDA approval and things like that. Yeah. The products that we're starting with do not require FDA clearance. Oh, okay. um, they're more, they're but what else can, are you working on? I'm but sorry. you can purchase them. They're FSA and HSA eligible. So if you have those programs um, through your insurance, then you can buy them through the programs. Mm -hmm. You asked about additional product. products. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our next product I'm actually personally super excited about because uh, my mother had them and they are those really ugly incontinence pads that they put on beds or sofas or you put down on the ground for your puppy they're blue plastic on one side and white on the other mm -hmm. and when you urinate on them you see the yellow urination i mean it's just and they bunch up then yep. ours are beautifully designed with beautiful graphics on them so that if you walk into someone's home and it's on the couch, you don't immediately know what it is. Um, and they have a kind of non-skid back, so they stay in place. Mm -hmm. And and again, it goes back to not when when I was when my mother was alive and I was coming over to see her with my kids, I would have to call her first. And she would make her caregiver get rid of all the incontinence pads. Mm. It's embarrassed. Yeah. So we don't want people to be embarrassed. If you're incontinent, you're incontinent. Mm -hmm. You can still live a full, joyful life. So let's take the shame and embarrassment out of it mm -hmm. and create products that are beautiful. And we, the last thing I'll say on this is that we don't say we're a home medical product company. I mean, we are, but we say we're a lifestyle brand mm. that happens to be making home medical products. Because we're also making mm. a smaller Luna, which is really portable, that seals shut, you know, it's watertight, but it's much smaller. It's for kind of a one-time go that you can throw in your backpack if you're going hiking or camping or on a road trip, you know? So it's not, <clears throat> you can still enjoy these activities without worrying, is there gonna be a public restroom at the state park? 
I'm really excited about that one because I just spent um, the other day when I was driving from Chicago to uh, Minnesota across Wisconsin, yet another blizzard and the traffic was stopped for at least 30 minutes several times. I'm thinking, this is not working for me. I need, you know, I need your product. So right. <laughs> no, no, we have heard uh, any number of stories about people, the things people do on car trips because they have to urinate yeah. and they're stuck right. in traffic or they can't find a bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we want to we want to solve that problem for people as well. Excellent. But other when you ask about other products, mm -hmm. we've, got, we've got a male urinal coming out. We have a bedside commodes designed, elevated toilet seats. We're gonna also get into bathing with shower chair, shower benches, uh, little steps for people to help, you know, help people get in and out of the bathtub safely. Grab um, bars. Grab mm -hmm. bars. So, and then ultimately we'll move into mobility with walkers, canes, uh, rollators, things like that. Excellent. So, so far, is it the two of you? Or do you have a design team? How are you managing all of this? Um, we have a design team. Uh, it's called Herbst Product. Actually, from Chicago, Walter Herbst uh, is the founder of the company. He is the pioneer of industrial design. Um, he started the PhD program in design at Northwestern. And uh, his... Oh my God, his offices, oh God, it, it's on the that fabulous boat tour in Chicago. Mm -hmm. you go past his original offices. I can't think of what it was, not the Merck. But anyway, um, his son, his adult son, Scott, is our designer. And there are three major international design awards for consumer products. And this includes, you know, drones and, you know, and medical devices and washers, dryers, washers, drives, anything. There's three huge international designs. Um, one is the Edison Awards, one it, uh, that's based in Florida, and then the IF Award and the Red Dot Award which are based in Germany. And as of last week, our beautiful Luna has won all three of them. Oh my goodness, congratulations. So, so we're really, really design forward. Oh, wow, that's terrific. That's, Thank you. Yeah, the, um, um, the products that you're creating, are how, where are they on the, um, on the cost spectrum. So um, they are more expensive than uh, many of the urinals that are currently available, but they're really apples and oranges. Um, most of the urinals that you can find online or in a medical supply store are made of a kind of a thin plastic. They are clear or sort of frosted. Um, they have you know, the functionality as we've described is poor, they're noisy. They don't, many of them don't have caps. So you can, they spill easily, or if there's any odor, you know, that yeah. becomes a problem. I feel like we should have some on our shelf so we can show people a comparison <laughs> of what's available, readily available. Right. So they certainly are more expensive, but again, as Bertie brought up earlier, if you have F, uh, an FSA or HSA account, um, you can use that yeah. and, you know, when purchasing them. And also there's a Medicare program that gives you, I don't know how much money a year to spend on certain health-related products. Mm -hmm. We should yeah. do that too. I yeah. think it's Medicare Advantage. That's, that's true. I remember when I was in China, I took these uh, cardboard uh, disposable, what, what do you call them? The... Uh, um, pee, they're for peeing. Uh -huh. So standing up, you are able to use this mm -hmm. if you don't want to sit down. And it's oh, uh, right. so it's like a funnel that, a funnel. But, but it doesn't. There's nothing catching it. So you could take, you could pee outside, or you could pee over a bowl. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. And well, and when you're yeah. supposed to squat, and you 
<laughs> I can't squat. I'm the one putting toilet paper on the toilet seat because my mother, who was phenomenal, I'm the only person you'll ever meet that has never been to therapy about their mother, but she <laughs> never taught me to squat. <laughs> That's funny. Well, what tell us what have been some of the challenges that you've faced and probably overcome in getting your company started and you certainly have a wonderful vision for future products. Tell us a little bit about the journey. Well, I think one of the, we were very fortunate that we found our designer quickly um, through uh, somebody Bertie knew. Um, but we did, we started Boom about a year and a half ago, eight, 18 to 24 months ago in the middle of the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, so manufacturing, finding, you know, help with manufacturing was quite an issue. We couldn't, yeah. they currently they're made in China. We couldn't travel to China and uh, kind of interview mm -hmm. factories. Um, so we solved that problem. We threw a little bit of money at that problem, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we're working currently through sort of a, a middle person. Um, and now that the world has opened up a bit, we hope to make it to China or other countries where, uh, you know, a lot of plastics are manufactured, plastic goods are manufactured and um, do that, you know, direct to factories. So that was certainly one of the challenges, but we've been able to come up with a great workaround for now. We wish we could manufacture in the U.S. I mean, yeah. that would make us happier. Um, it's just cost prohibitive, unfortunately. And it's, you know, it's a it's a countrywide issue, uh, mm -hmm. probably not one that Val and I are going to solve. Although I do believe that if we set our minds to it, we could get <laughs> anything done. But um, manufacturing locally would be a dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, you talk, yeah, talk about uh, empowering women to care for themselves with dignity. And I'm I'm wondering, do you see this as as having possibly a social conscious movement about it? It, it seems that your products would be so useful in um, shelters and other places like that. Have, have you gotten that far in your thinking? We are, and maybe you have some advice for us. <laughs> we are actively looking for the right philanthropy to support with some of our proceeds. Um, we would like to give back and we're trying to figure out which charity makes the most sense for the community that we're trying to serve. Um, and it's not as easy as you think because we don't want a specific you know, diagnosis, not all old people get dementia or Parkinson's or, mm -hmm. um, so if, you know, we looked at Meals on Wheels, but that has a strong religious component to it. And we don't want to alienate anyone, you know, we want everyone to embrace the charity we're serving. So if you have any ideas, we'd love to hear them because, uh, that's a, great interest to us, both personally and professionally. And so listeners, um, be sure to contact that Dr. Val and Bertie with that, your ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they would love to hear from you. Um, let me just ask also, you, you know, you're both in your 50s. So mm -hmm. um, in what ways, if any, are you experiencing the aging process? <laughs> and, uh, I'm I'm sitting on a heating pad at the moment because I hurt my back by sneezing. That's what I did. I sneeze a week ago. Oh, and then and then yesterday I hurt my back, but I was um, at the gym lifting how many 135 pounds. So Val's a bodybuilder, so and I'm a runner, so. So yes, Bertie and I are both, I, I won't say, you know, fighting back against aging, but we are, we're embracing it, but we're doing everything in our power to stay healthy and strong. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, a couple of years ago, I, I, for the first time in my life, started lifting weights 
And as I do with um, many things in my life, I tend to get a little carried away. <laughs> I have two speeds on and off. And so I decided that I was going to push my sat myself outside my comfort zone and enter in a bodybuilding competition, mm -hmm. which I, I did. And, and I, she won. And I won. Oh, and look at you. So, so I think for us, exercise, sleep, uh, eating right, um, Bertie is a marathon runner. Uh, we are staying as active um, as, as we possibly can. But also Val is my first call every morning. And I came in today, I got a little weepy because I love her so much. And I said, what if someday like we sell our company and, and we're not going to an office every day? Can I still call you at seven o'clock every morning? <laughs> so in addition to staying fit and eating healthy, um, I probably drink a little more than Val. But um, is having relationships and mm -hmm. making time to be with people you care about. I mean, that that's really, if, if you don't have your health, you're screwed. But if you have your health, you've got one life, at least one mm -hmm. that we know about. Spend it with people you love and care about and, and fill it with joy. Right. So I, have I would add to that, and it ties back to the work we're doing, is... Um, we're continuing to learn new things, educate ourselves every day. And we're able to, you know, we do that through boom. We're learning about social media. I mean, I didn't know how to download Instagram before. before I understand. <laughs> social media, paid advertising, digital paid advertising. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was such a thing, even though I was being bombarded by it every single day. We're learning about manufacturing and marketing and branding and and spreadsheets. I taught Bertie how to do a very rudimentary Excel spreadsheet recently. So just keeping it new and interesting, um, you know, as as often as we possibly can. Yeah. So what do you see? How what do you how do you see yourselves twenty years from now, when you're actually in the '70s category that that uh, Gail and I are in? We might have our own podcast. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I, you know, personally, I hope I'm a grandma. <laughs> um, what do I? I mean, I think I'll be. I I will still be working, doing something interesting. I hope. Um, I will still be at the gym every day because it feels good. And um, and as Birdie talked, there's a community of people that I've met there. Um, that kind of fills, you know, me with joy. Um, hopefully I will be enjoying travel with my, my kids and my husband, mm -hmm. but I think active, alive, moving, all the good stuff. Sounds Lots good. <laughs> good you. Okay. Well, thank you both so much. This has really been a, a joy and enlightening and I love your ideas for your products and your philosophy of life, which is so in keeping with women over 70. And we just thank, can't thank you enough for being with us. Thank so you so much for having us. And you ladies are so impressive. And, and thank you for all that you do. <laughs> and your listeners learn so much from you. And what you're doing is so important. Thank you. And listeners, thank you for your loyalty. Because of you that our numbers are growing all across the country and overseas. And this is a good thing. Still, we always need more subscribers. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Women Over 70, Aging Reimagined, and wherever you find our podcast. See you next Wednesday on Women Over 70, Aging. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye-bye.